Hello, this is Radio Atlantic. This is your host, Yannick Brotong. Today is January the 25th. It's a Thursday. It's 2 p.m. local time, which translates to 4 p.m. UK time. And with me, as usual, is the infamous Danny Schleicher. Hello, boys and girls. How are you? First and most important, we are still alive. What happened, Danny? We had a rough couple of days. Not only like us but also mentally uh, so we had a capsize we had some massive winds last night uh, yeah it's been a lot yeah so t tell us a bit more about it i mean capsize holy fuck <laughs> yes you say it. so it started when um so we were going on a quite we were trying to keep a northerly course because uh yeah there was even more wind from the north coming so that means we had big side waves. And usually, I mean, most of them were really normal side waves. We didn't really worry too much. Some of them made it a little wet, but it's okay. And then there was one shift where I was sitting in front of my cabin and Yannick was rowing. And he looks to the side and his face changes. And then everything happens so quickly. Suddenly, I am in the water in my left hand I'm holding my phone, which I was drying on my leg because I couldn't charge it anymore because my charger is wet. What did the charger socket is wet. So I, w I wake up kind of, not wake up, but uh, I, I come to my senses underneath the board. In the left hand, my phone, still in a tight grip. In the right hand, I'm holding my line. And I'm realizing, fuck, we just capsized. And then I realized, okay, seconds ago, we were slowly, slowly, slowly turning until suddenly it made and we rolled over. So I just gave a capsize. Nice, I'm still clipped in. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm safe. So I, I went to the side. I was kind of uh, in between both cabins, so there was air to breathe. So I went to one side of the board where I thought the board would run over to. And I, and I look around, I don't see Yannick. And I shout, Yannick, Yannick! Nothing. And then like, I would say a good two, maybe three seconds later, Yannick comes up on my side and I thought, oh my God, has he been underwater that long? So it must've been like, I don't know, five seconds. And I thought, oh my God, he's been like stuck underwater. But uh, you, you came up on the one side first, right? Yeah, so for, I, but like the first instinct was just to get somewhere where you can breathe again. Yes. And yeah, so I got on one side when the boat was still flipped over and yeah. then I felt that the boat was rolling okay. and once it was already the right side my um, clip was obviously on the wrong side so I had to dive below the water okay to, to, yeah so, so the, when I streamed for you you were already down under the water under the board again to get to the other side I guess why you screamed to to too to, to, to little maybe Yannick it was a very loud Yannick a bit, how, how is it in Titanic <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Doesn't uh, Jade at the end, uh, or she can't Jade, doesn't she at the end like, Help her. Uh, could be, I, I can't remember. Yeah, so. Anyway, we are there, and then the boat does what it needs to do. It rolled over fairly reliable, I have to say. How long did it take until it rolled over? Five seconds. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe, yeah, a couple of seconds, and it slowly rolled over, and then we were both on the same side looking at each other yeah pretty much what the fuck but you know it's crazy i don't know if, like we were fairly calm uh especially yannick so calm it's crazy not panicking nothing and then we had to get on the board first of all we looked around us and i, I snatched uh, my vessel in tube because it was floating around me so okay i saved something <laughs> <laughs> and I was looking around me and saw if I, if I could see something else floating around. I think we saved something else as well. Chocolate muesli. <laughs> Chocolate uh, cereal. Oh yeah, yes exactly. Chocolate uh, muesli. And I put my, my phone on the board. But I couldn't climb up because I was in my fall weather clothing. Which was uh, pants and jacket. So I was not... I mean, I could have probably climbed up if I got rid of my jacket or something. But Yannick was fairly elegant how he went out of the water. Then you had to you had to do something with the clips. Yeah, I had to 
reclip myself because otherwise I would have just like entangled whatever. Okay, and then he pulled me up and then we were both back on the board and <laughs> we were surprised to say the least. Yeah, but I mean, all in all, everything went smooth. <laughs> we were both clipped in, our, our cabins, our, all hatches were closed. It couldn't have gone any better. We've done, like, everything was perfect. But that also puts in perspective, like, things can go wrong. Like, this wasn't a wave. Like, we didn't, like, it was a different wave than the other ones, right? Yeah, so it was, I think what the crazy thing about it was, it was, you would imagine that, ah, uh, yeah, it's this night where there's, anyway, 15 meter waves and it's high winds and everything. So one of them just has to tip you over. So it was not like this. It was normal waves, and all of a sudden there was this wave. Yeah. That's just uh, bad timing. So it just in the moment when it started to break, we were there completely sideways, and um, that, that did the job. And um, yeah, it's an. I I don't know. What did you feel? So I was really shocked. I, I was very happy. Like I was laughing. I was smiling because I was very happy that things went so smoothly. Especially like with our procedure we got in, that was very smooth. I was not worried at one bit that we wouldn't manage to get out or that the boat would sink or something. That was really nice. But for the rest of the day, I had like this shock feeling where I thought, oh, fuck. Like, I don't know, a negative, kind of a negative spiral, which Yannick said it best uh, when he was talk you were talking to your girlfriend. He said, uh, you had a second chance. Everything went right. That was amazing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, I don't know, I, when, when those things happen, uh, happily my rational me kicks in super quick, so I was, yeah, for, for me, I was not feeling anything, I was just there, a bit annoyed that I'm wet, <laughs> and that I lost one earpiece of my headphones. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Um, and, uh, but part of that, I was like, okay, now we capsized, we have to get back in. And then we got back in, and then I was like, okay, let's eat everything, try, call Ian, put everything exactly. together, and then everything was... So, yeah, we, we lost the uh, headphone, we lost the uh, torch, uh, we, we oh, lost no. um, some seat cushions, and sunscreen, some minor things, and the cabins were unorderly. Yeah, uh, I think but no water was inside the cabins, that was good. Uh, at least not in mine. No. And uh, just everything was on one side, cramped over. But to be fair, even that, I think, was a positive thing, thing because I had a chance to just restructure everything a little bit. So it turned out okay. So, um, yeah, that, that was the capsize. Um, maybe to, to get some other topics. Uh, first, because you mentioned your cabin. So now you said your cabin is clean, structured and ordered. Uh, well, now it's already 24 hours later, and it's not the case anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know, it's, uh, you know, we haven't been able to dry our stuff, and it doesn't help when we get wet and wet and wet, and then we capsize, so we even wetter. Everything is wet in my cabin, so that's a little, that doesn't make it very easy to make it perfectly clean, but at least I was able to, to know now where my stuff is, which is, I guess that's a success. Yeah, that, that's a great one, and um, I as well mentioned that some nuts are missing in the cabin now. They they moved to a different place. Danny has been uh, like a squirrel. <laughs> He's bunkering uh, nuts everywhere in case he needs them sometimes. Or well, what's your what what would you say? So before the race in the boat, <laughs> in the boat park, we had our safety check with uh, Steve, and then like. Half an hour later, there was Fraser and Ian, and they all said, Danny, I think you need to repack your snack packs. I think you need to put all your nuts and all your uh, dr uh, dried fruit into uh, single compartments. And so I sat there for one full day and put all the snack packs, uh, all the nuts and the dried fruit together. And now I'm not eating them all. None of them. I can't eat them. Like, since, I don't know, I guess the, the day full of weighing and putting nuts into little bags just put me off nuts forever <laughs> so now I, I collect them and then I put them back into my food compartment and Yannick apparently 
saw that. <laughs> That's uh, not that hard to mention. Uh, yeah, with the nuts, yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> but uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, we, we will never forget. That's fine, actually. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to have them ready to eat. <laughs> it's just that, I don't know. Yeah, so the idea there was, because if you have big portions of anything, and a little of it gets wet, all of it is pretty much wasted and we have seen the first week and now as well this week especially when the conditions are not that great it's really really useful to have just something you can pull out and use even the infinite powder we have we have it in smaller boxes um, which is great but even that is on some weather just impossible to use so it's, yeah it's totally yeah, I mean, the guys were completely right we had to it made so much sense to to repack the snack packs but it's just i can't eat them anymore <laughs> yeah nice um so we are now 343 miles nautical miles uh, from antigua uh, which is incredible and um, since this is the capsider episode uh, and it's already rather long I would say we stop it here and try to do another Christian episode at some point and um, yeah as always uh, thanks for listening enjoy yourselves enjoy um, watching our finish in Antigua or looking forward to it we might have another episode before that and um all the best to you. And enjoy being dry. Enjoy, enjoy being dry. Enjoy every day. You can choose to stay inside and not get wet. From a capsize, from rain, whatever it is.